Okay, we've got a question from a lady named Elena in Carson City, Nevada. And what she asks is, what is the difference between green tea, black tea, and coffee. Which one's better? All right. So let me explain this to you. All of them have a stimulant in them known as caffeine. We all know what caffeine is. But all three of them also have a significant amount of these compounds that you've heard about that are so health-giving called antioxidants. All right. Now, caffeine takes its toll on people and it can really mess up your sleep, cause women in particular to gain weight, and we all know the downsides of caffeine. It's going to make you jittery. It's going to mess with the feel-good chemicals in your brain. But look, all three of them, as I said, have some pretty powerful antioxidants in them. Now, green tea has the lowest level of caffeine, and it has the highest level of antioxidants, and some really good antioxidants as well. Black tea, which most people don't understand or don't know, that green tea and black tea, it's the same leaf off the same plant. The only difference is that black tea is allowed to dry a little bit longer and it oxidizes a little bit more. But in that processing, black tea also has some different antioxidants in it. They're good, but I don't think they're quite as good as the antioxidants that are in green tea. And it also, because it dries out more and concentrates more, the caffeine level is a little bit higher. All right, now, coffee that has the most caffeine in it and it has the least amount of the antioxidants uh, in it. So Elena, there's not that big of a separation really between the three of them. However, green tea's first, black tea is second, and coffee comes in last.